Hi, do you want to know if you should have a home inspection before you put your house on the market? Well, stay tuned. I'm ready to work with your inspector and I'll tell you all the reasons why it would benefit the seller. Hi, this is Karen O'Brien, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Commonwealth Broker Associate, and I'm here to tell you all the reasons why you should consider putting your house on the market after you have an inspection. So, number one, find out the condition of your house. If you've been in your house for 20, 30, 40 years, I'm sure there are things you just don't see anymore. So, you need to know what's really going on so you don't have ugly surprises when you get a wonderful offer and the buyer does an inspection and it's like whoa you know it's going to cost ten thousand for this and it's just not in our budget so it'll also take a lot of the stress away not knowing until that point it's like a drum roll so the good reason for you to do it is you can get anything that's mandatory out of the way. You also have time to make these necessary repairs and build trust. When you put your house on the market, the major things have been fixed, so you're calmer about the whole situation. The house is priced more accurately, and you can be more open with the buyer and tell them the things you did. Okay, so the home inspection, what is mandatory and what is not? I just want you to know I'm dressed for the part because as a realtor, I go to all my home inspections, whether I represent the buyer or the seller, because I need to know what's going on and I want to be able to give good advice to my client. So, mandatory and not mandatory. If a switch plate is cracked or, <coughs> excuse me, an electrical outlet is not working properly or the grounding button needs to be replaced, or a tile is cracked. Those are not mandatory fixes, and don't feel like you have to. You're not selling a brand new house. This house could be 20, 30, 50 years old, 100 years old. So the buyer should know this, and don't feel obliged to do that. Now, that's mushroom over there, my, um, my multi-breed, um, companion. The third thing is it enables your realtor to price your home much more accurately because there isn't going to be a lot of negotiating because there's nothing huge to fix or it allows for an accurate price with what you want to do as the seller and by that I mean here are your choices. So what's mandatory? Well, a home inspector goes through your house like it's a, a physical, a checkup. They're going to look at the foundation. They're going to look at the basement. They're going to look at the pipes that go throughout the whole house, just like your house is a living being. They're going to look at the electrical. They're going to look at the attic, the roof. They're going to look at air conditioning, heating any safety problems, anything that's not up to code. So they're going to come up with a list of things <clears throat> and hopefully mandatory things should be in decent shape or maybe they'll inform you there's maybe a few years left of life, even appliances they'll share with you. It might be on its last few years of life or they have general ideas of all these things and you'll get quite a report for the hundred, a few hundred dollars you spend. It could be between 350 and seven or 900, depending on the size of your house. So now the tricky part, what is mandatory? Well, if your furnace is on its last leg and you've been having trouble with it, um, I would get an estimate. If you don't wanna fix it, get an estimate. So you know what it will cost. So when the time comes and the buyer decides not to go with your inspection but hire their own and the same thing happens, then you can tell them 
Well, I got an estimate for $11,000 installed and I'm willing to lower the price by $11,000 so I don't have to do the work. Now, that's a big plus and it usually gives the buyer some relief. Now, structural hazards are big deals, uh, chemical or toxic issues, um, all the pests or uh, wildlife inhabitants, say you have a squirrel's nest in your attic. All these things you want to get rid of and um, do a little spit shine of your house so that everything's in good working order. And that's how buyers expect to get it. So one situation might be, say you put in a bathroom and you didn't use, you did not use pull a permit, nor did you get it inspected. Well, there's a really good chance you can't even talk about that being a real bathroom because at this point to get it done legally, you're probably going to have to rip the whole thing out. So if the buyer is aware of all this up front, they can make a decision. Same thing with decks and any kind of improvement you did without permits. So without permits really is going to jeopardize some of the value of your house and you can understand now why it's so important. And one big example is if you have a, an older house and you've been there a very long time and you're not big using the internet, you may have knob and tube electrical systems, which though there's no law saying you can't sell your house with it, there is a problem because the buyer probably won't be able to get a mortgage and an insurance company will not insure this home. So that should be changed before you decide to sell. It's an investment, but it's going to make your home more valuable and you'll find a buyer faster. Just so you know, right now, people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s want a house they can move into as soon as they close. They don't want to have to do repairs. They don't want to have to upgrade. They won't, don't want an old kitchen or a bathroom. So if you want your sale to be for top dollar and you want your sale to be as quick as possible, the better everything's up front and if you can, it'll, it'll help your whole sale go faster and if you do major repairs beforehand, it'll be a lot easier for you. Because the second buyer that comes along, the first buyer can walk away if it's something super major and get their deposit back. But the second buyer is now we have to disclose that, you know, the stairs need to be replaced. Well, they may say, well, that's not that big of a deal. Let's negotiate on price. So every home is unique. But if you want to be transparent and make this move along and create trust from day one, I recommend you get an inspection before you list your house. Now, what can you do to get ready for that inspection? Well, my next video is going to talk about that. And if you like the information in this video, I have many more. And I have profiles of local Boston area towns. If you want to click on the, the link to the next video or click on the subscribe button below and hit the bell. And every week I post on Wednesday so you'll get a little email saying the next one is now published. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. I'm ready for my inspection.